because they wanted khatm al khawaj again. We haven't done. We can do the short khatm, inshallah, with uh, up to the ihda and the dua. That way we don't test these good people here. Uh, we have also the Hayat al Sa'ada. You only hear of saying that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And uh, you want me to make ziyarah for me. It's a nice, pleasant surprise, especially this is the month of Mawlid al Nabi. The month of Rabi al Awwal, Rabi al Anwar. This is believed to be the holiest of all months. Yes, it's famous that Ramadan is, but if we take Ibra, that ulama of Islam, all the entire ulama of Islam have consensus and agreement that the holiest place, the holiest portion, the holiest place on in existence, not on earth, is the Rawda of Sayyidina Muhammad. The holiest city is Mecca. But the holiest plot of in existence is the Rawda of Sayyidina Muhammad because it is the place that is hugging his holy physicality and being. And there is consensus about with Ulama of Islam that the greatest of Allah's creation is Sayyidina Muhammad. That he is greater than the Arsh, greater than exceeds the angels. In Isra and Mi'raj, when Jibreel السلام, when, when they reached Sidrat al Mutaha, he said, This is where we this is where I, I stop. I cannot come nearer than this. The in Qutarabd, he says, I will cease to exist. If I take once, I have no permission. I have no permission to exceed my my limit. This is my limit. But for you, either to where to where there where there is nowhere. No one can describe where that you can't even say where. It is it is just tashbih in nearness to his Lord. In how how near he was with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without any our minds cannot really understand. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is no one can even think how near Prophet Sallallahu is to his Lord. So your Prophet is the most honored one in creation, most magnificent one in creation, Sallallahu And he used to say, and I say you Adam, well if he is say you do Adam, he is master of all creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this creation for him. And some say, you, you, you accuse, accuse Ahl Tasawwuf that they use weak hadiths about making this point that your Prophet وسلم, that this creation was created for him. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَوْلَاكَ لَوْلَاكَ لَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْأَفْلَاكَ That it, if it wasn't for you, I would not have created anything. So people say, these are weak evidence. What is your real evidence? The evidence is from Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاسْتَعِنُ فِي اللَّهِ وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُنُونَ Verily, I have only created human beings for one reason. And that's what we said when we were hearing, لَا إِلَهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا إِلَهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ And we said that that is what we are created for. We are created to know لَا إِلَهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ We are created to know our Lord. To worship Allah, nothing else. The ahad that Allah gave, the promise we made on, on the day of promises, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alastu bi rabbikum, Holy Quran says, Am I not your Lord? All of us testified, Yes, you are our Lord. Yes, la ilaha illallah. 
And so we came into this world, and because of our weakness, our, our nafs, our desires, our shayateen dissuading us, we forget. Or we remember sometimes, very few times, but most of the time we're forgetful of this purpose. So if our purpose is to worship Him, if we are created for the sole mission of knowing Allah and worshipping Him, nothing else. Now who is amongst us the one that really knows Allah and worships Him? Who in creation can say is the real Abid? Who is the one that Allah certified as Subhana Allahi Asra bi Abidihi? My Abid. Who is he? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is Sayyidina Muhammad. He is the real knower of Allah, the real Abd of Allah, the real worshipper of Allah is him. All our actions are imitations, mixed with so many things, our deeds. Can we call ourselves real Abid? Are you a servant? I, I cannot make that clear. But he is. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So if he is the real Abid, and Allah created this creation to be worshipped, then he is a maqsood. He is the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the aim of creation. Because Allah wants to be worshipped. And he is the real worshipper. We don't need to go anywhere else to know that your Prophet وسلم, is the reason why we are here. So when Muslims we say, well, it's, too, it's nothing. No one knows the qadr of that one وسلم, except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything the poets say, the ulama say, the, the, from tafsir, from hadith, from is, is a drop in an ocean. And that brings us to the main issue, is why, how we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Muslims, how can we, how can we draw near in servitude? How can we become nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How can we become better servants? It's through that one, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why it's essential to have, to love him, to know him, Salawatullah. Why? Because he's your role model. He is the accepted archetype, the accepted model for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a abid. So your duty is to know him, to love him, to emulate him, to follow him, to revere him, to respect him, to honor him. That's why we do mawlids. That's why in this month of Milad al Nabi, lucky are those who are invited to honor Sayyidina Muhammad. Because if you, if you make one salawat, Allah makes ten on you. For one salawat. Okay. We, pass, we pass upon this, oh, Allah makes ten salawat. We don't really reflect upon this. What does it mean that Allah, Allah, the creator of it, of vast creations, never ending, never stopping, magnificence, what we know of is nothing. That Lord, because you praise his beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, all he is, he is, you are you are now under his 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 attention. You are now, he is now turning to you, me, the weak servants, the ones who have sinned. And you make salah on Nabi, and all of a sudden your Lord makes salah on you. Ten times. Who is that one Sayyidina Muhammad That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala overlooks all our shortcomings. And if we say sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, he is making salawat on you. And how is he making salawat on you? They say, ulama, that the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the salawat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not a mercy. It's not here. 
is taking us out of the darkness of our egoism, the darkness of our materialism, the darkness of our shortcomings into the light. Because he says, وَالسَّعْلِ بِاللَّهُ وَالَّذِي يُصَبِّ عَلَيْكُمْ وَمَلَائِكَتُهُ لِيُخْرِجَكُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ He is the one that when he makes salawat on you, he takes you out of the darkness into the light. And we have darkness upon darkness. The darkness of bad manners, the darkness of greed, the darkness of attachments, the darkness of ignorance, <coughs> the darkness, the darkness, the darkness. Vulumatun fauqa vulumat. And if you want to be out of that, then the way it is to honor Sayyidina Muhammad. To make salawat on him. This is why this month. I advise myself and I advise you, have a word of Salah al -Nabi. Don't let a day pass where you haven't made Salawat on him. Not just in this month, in your entire life. Every day, just like you eat, make a hundred Salawat, three hundred Salawat. People cry, people, I have problems, I have difficulties. Go get out of the darkness. Get out of your fears, of your worries, make salawat. And Radama said that Mukthirin as salah, the one who makes too much salawat, 300 a day. And you can choose the simplest form of salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. How simple is that? Maybe 300 salawat, 20 minutes, maximum half an hour. If you're going to work, come to work. Have a tasbih, have a counter. Make it salah. Listen to salah. Holy Quran, the ulama say three things will save you. Love of Prophet teaching your kids, teaching yourselves about Prophet because of what we mentioned. Love of his Ahlul Bayt, because if you love him, you have to love his family come together. And the third is to have good relations with the Quran. In this day and age, the emphasis is fully on Holy Quran. And that portion of knowing Prophet and loving Prophet is completely neglected. You can be a Hafid, you can recite Quran and Prophet Sallallahu there will come a time where reciters of Quran will be many and he was just speaking about a specific type of people. He said that they will, they will make you, when you recite next to their recitation, they will make you feel like your recitation is bad. That's how good they are. Yeah, and he, Prophet Sallallahu says, you, you, you look down at your own recitation compared to their recitation. That's how good they are. That the Holy Quran they recite does not pass beyond their throats. Meaning, does not enter their hearts. Why? Because their, their hearts are in darkness. In Dhulumat. The light of mahabba, the light of love, the light of attach, attachment to Sayyidina Muhammad is not saving them, is not opening their hearts. So they recite, but it does not pass beyond their hearts. So we have to pay attention to this area. Yes, we teach our kids Holy Quran, and teach them about their role model. Teach them about the one uh, that for whose sake. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased for them if their relationship with Him is good. This is, inshallah, the month of Mawlid. May Allah grant us understanding and grant us to real ishq and mahabba with Sayyidina Muhammad. So if we love Him, khalas. If you love Him, that's it. Certify it. Because He says, Al Mar'u Ahab. You will be with the one you love. So may Allah grant us real mahabba. Real love, 
Grant our families, our children, to know Sayyidina Muhammad al-Sahib. Amin Allahi Tawfiq. Amin Allahi Tawfiq.